G'day, it's Fugitive Australian journalist Shane Dowling from the website kangarooecourtofaustralia.com. Now, there's two high-profile court cases in Queensland, one involving a Channel 7 personality or two Channel 7 personalities, and one involving a high-profile Toowoomba man. Both involve sex crimes and both parties have applied for suppression orders and they've both been granted interim suppression orders. Uh, they're trying to circumvent new Queensland laws, which came into effect on the 3rd of October. Prior to the 3rd of October in Queensland, if you're charged with certain sex crimes, the uh, media weren't allowed to name you until it was set down for final hearing. But the law has changed on the 3rd of October, meaning uh, they could be named now. So both parties have uh, applied for suppression orders. And what's interesting is the fact that the high-profile tumble man, his matters uh, for suppression orders has progressed faster. He was denied suppression orders on Friday, last Friday, but he's already applied for an appeal in the Supreme Court of Queensland. And it's interesting because his matter is, I think, set down for next Thursday in the Supreme Court. Well, let's have a look at the facts of both matters first. Uh, and you put the pieces together, and it looks like the Toowoomba man, his uh, case might undermine the Channel 7 personality who's applying for suppression orders. You know, if you go back about a week and a half, the Channel 7 personality, she uh, applied for suppression orders in the Richland uh, Magistrates Court, which is a suburb of Brisbane. Uh, she claimed mental health issues apparently suicidal. The magistrate reserved his judgment until the 28th of October. Now, last Friday, the Toowoomba man, he had his matter heard in the Toowoomba Magistrates Court, and his uh, matter was pretty similar. Claimed mental health issues, claimed he was suicidal. I think in both matters, they uh, refused to give evidence. They were relying on their lawyers and barristers from the bar table and also uh, in letters from psychologists. Now, in Toowoomba last Friday, the magistrate didn't reserve her judgment. She handed down a judgment straight away and refused a suppression order. Now, the high-profile Tum man has appealed to the Supreme Court of Queensland in Brisbane. And the matter is set down for the 26th of October, which is two days before the magistrate in uh, Richland has to hand down his judgment. So if the judge in the Supreme Court hands down his judgment on the 26th, that uh, will set a precedent. At the moment, there's no precedent. It's new laws. But if the judge of the Supreme Court hands down a judgment, that'll set a precedent where the magistrate in the Richland Court has to uh, abide by and given the circumstances seem to be almost identical, they're both claiming uh, mental health issues, they're both claiming they're suicidal, uh, both of them refuse to give evidence. Um, it's going to be almost identical, and the Richland magistrate won't have much wriggle room. It sounds like uh, he'll have to uh, quash the application for suppression orders for the high-profile Channel 7 personality. Now, just so you know, the Toowoomba man is charged with two counts of rape in relation to the Channel 7 personality, the media have reported the 52-year-old woman is accused of eight counts of rape, one of sexual assault, 17 counts of indecent treatment of a child under 16, two charges of torture, four, four allegations of assault, occasionally bodily harm, two of them whilst armed in company, and two common assault offences. And a 49-year-old man is charged with seven counts of assault. Now, like I said, that in relation to the Channel 7 personality, her matter is uh, set down for the 28th of October, which is a Saturday. I don't know if that's a misreporting by the media or maybe the magistrate's court at Richland does set on a Saturday. But uh, the next court matter uh, in relation to the Toowoomba man is the 26th of October in the Supreme Court of Queensland in Brisbane. Now, the Toowoomba man, his matter's been called an appeal, but I think it's actually a review where it'll just go before one judge. If he loses that, he might appeal, and that will have to go before three judges. I think they say it's going to work in uh, the Queensland Supreme Court anyhow in relation to the suppression orders. I know when Capilano Hane took out suppression orders against me in the New South Wales Supreme Court, the judge handed down uh, interim suppression orders, non-publication orders, and a super injunction. Couldn't even tell anyone there was a court case. But I had that reviewed, and it was only reviewed by one judge. And I won. Uh, that took about 18 months, but I did win. Um, and then uh, Capilano Hane appealed that to the Court of Appeal, where we were before three judges, and I won that too, 3 nil. And I assume that's what will happen in the Queensland Court as well where initially it'll go before one judge, but then if uh, the Toowoomba man appeals, it'll go before three judges. Well, it looks like his uh, case is going to have an impact on the Channel 7 personality, undermine her. Although she's just trying to waste time anyhow, from what I can tell. People can get suppression orders because they're saying they have mental health issues and uh, they're suicidal. Well, that's going to open up a can of worms where everyone will be able to get suppression orders. And please hit the like and subscribe button and share this video on social media and help shine a light on corruption. In Kangaroo Court of Australia's independent media, I publish a website and a YouTube channel, and I'm 100% crowdfunded from 
viewers like yourself. So please support my Patreon account. We currently have 337 patrons donating $2,182 a month. And I really need to double it to become financially viable. And uh, you can donate any amount, $3, 5 10 15 20 30 40 $50 a month, whatever suits your budget. And the link for the Patreon account is below this video on YouTube and also on my website. And please share this video on social media. Thank you for your time and have a good day.